Noah, it's time for the Freedom Spotlight. Welcome back to the Freedom Spotlight. Here at the Freedom Spotlight, we're getting a lot better, so maybe we might be able to bring you episodes more than once a month. We enjoy making it, and I hope that you enjoy watching it. Sit, Sit back, back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the, the show. show. started whenever I first um, started with this job. Uh, Dr. Smith used to be in charge of math counts before I was and so I took over that whenever I um, started in this classroom. Math counts is one of my favorite things that I get to do as a teacher because it's something that students enjoy and I enjoy um, watching them get to have fun and, and compete in a fun way with math. Math counts is definitely beneficial in terms of problem solving and gaining self-confidence in math and um, just gaining fast thinking skills and competing against other students and getting a chance to um, meet students from other districts that also excel in mathematics. I do math counts because uh, I feel like it's great for like my brain and doing extracurricular activities and uh, I think it'll benefit me in the future by like, I don't know, get, getting me ready like ahead of time to see like math problems that are like higher up. I like to do math a lot, it's fun. Do you think doing math counts will help you get better in math? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can do advanced <laughs> equations and stuff. Will you do this in the future? Yeah, yeah, sure. What is the penny drive? Um, the penny drive is um, a way for us to maybe get ourselves involved into the holiday um, spirit a little bit. We are collecting pennies to donate to St. Jude's Hospital this year. Um, St. Jude um, does a lot with um, children, um, cancers, and, um, and many different ailments, but the, um, the beauty of St. Jude's is that they don't charge um, their families or the patients anything, So, but they do it all on um, donations. and so. Um, it's a great way to kick off the holiday season by um, fundraising for a good cause. Definitely. How much do I hope to raise? Wow. Um, 
I guess um, I haven't done my penny drive in a while. Um, I, I used to do it quite often in the past, and um, you know, I guess my my hope right now is that we can get a thousand dollars to to send to them. Uh, that would be, I think, a very attainable goal if we all pitch in and um, and do our parts by you know bombing all the other teachers that we like to see lose with silver. <laughs> How competitive? Oh, it, it gets quite competitive, especially the closer we get to the end. Um, I, I will like to give um, updates um, over the announcements, trying to let people know, like for example, right now, Mrs. Arico, um, she's already on her second jug of pennies. So, you know, that would be some place that you may want to go and drop off some silver to um, bring her total down a little bit. Um, you know, but, um, you know, we all have our competitive sides. I'm just saying that I've never been beaten at this, um, so uh, you know. But hey, you know, you know, everyone can take a shot at the champ. That's fine. Uh, the prize, uh, no, actually, um, what I like to do for the winning home room is the Orms cinnamon rolls, the big ones that are about as big as your head. Um, cinnamon rolls, um, one for each one in the winning um, classroom for um, for doing this. All kinds of things that can be done. Um, you know, I typically like to, um, you know harass some other teachers and um, and kind of you know egg them on uh, I like to just kind of stop in in the in the middle of their class with you know a large silver deposit and 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 let everyone watch me put it into their jug and um, so that they can see where it's coming from uh, I come up with some other creative ways in my class to to help um, increase our donations there you know I, I, I like to sell Jolly Ranchers and, and send those off, you know, the profits off of that to the um, fundraiser as well. So, um, you know, I encourage the teachers and the kids, get creative um, and don't be afraid to, um, you know, stop in and um, hit someone up with some silver there. In this segment, we went to see who was joining in on saying no drugs during Red River Week, getting photos of the people that participated, and getting information on what it was about and why it happened. Thank you if you made it this far. Right, so we got to get the principal's appreciation on the project done. Oh, man. Well, that seems pretty easy, 
great. I mean, we just got to talk about some pretty great principles, but you could have at least done your hair. Well, I was rushed this morning. Who's your favorite principal? Hmm. My favorite principal probably has to be Mr. Deal up at the high school. He does a really great job up there. He's setting up all of his students for success in the rest of their life so they can get into a great college and then lead on to getting a great career. He's just setting them all up for success up there. Yeah, Mr. Deal's great and all, but how about a teacher you've had before? Hmm. A principal that I've had before. Uh, I'll probably have to go with Mr. Edder. He did a great, really great job whenever I had him down in elementary school. He worked really hard on supporting me and so I could get ready for the middle school. Mr. Capehart's doing a really great job down there right now, too. He's supporting all of his kids. They, they both do a really great job. They both did a really great job down there. Yeah, what do you think about uh, Dr. Smith? Oh, Dr. Smith. I mean, he's okay. Or just kidding, Mr. Smith. You do a great job of supporting us middle schoolers and getting us ready for the high school that uh, we could go on to Mr. Deal, and then he could set us up for the course of success in our uh, high school and college life, and then all the way up to getting in, in a career. Thank you guys to all of our freedom uh, principals. We appreciate you. You gotta tell me when you started. <laughs> you might be up.